I think the music will always endure. Uh, it, it, um, it, it continues on. How it can affect him is certain people will not play the music or will not endorse the music. We've already seen that. After the allegations from Finding Neverland, DJs stopped playing it. Um, but it didn't affect his streaming numbers. They actually went up uh, right after all of this. So it just renews interest in his music and people want to hear it. But I don't think you'll hear it everywhere as much um, because there are certain people who will be offended or who will uh, have kind of be creeped out by it. Um, but so far we've seen this is a guy who had a lifetime of these kind of controversies and and these allegations were throughout his life. He was on trial several times, never found guilty, uh, but he was, uh, you know, this was in the public consciousness till, uh, since about 1993 and even before that. So he was always linked with that, but coincidentally, that's when his music sort of stopped being popular, was when <laughs> this, uh, you know, and, and so then the debate again continues. Was it because the music wasn't as good? Was it because these allegations ever shattered it? Or was he so consumed with the controversies that he couldn't think enough to create great music anymore? That's up for debate still. <laughs> I think that the uh, estate has done an excellent job at transforming um, his catalog and, and really cementing his legacy with it. Um, remember that he was in the red. He was broke, uh, beyond broke when he died. And now he's very much a, you know, a billion dollar industry. Um, they've gotten up his, his uh, revenue and his catalog sales uh, in numerous different ways from uh, Las Vegas shows to tours, to Broadway shows, to they've worked on many, many different things uh, to keep the music alive. And um, while recently it was a little more tarnished, uh, still there's something about those songs that uh, stay with us and stick with us. public stance against it, obviously, um, just saying these guys are liars. Um, do you think that was a smart approach? Would they have been better off ignoring it and just not giving it extra attention? I don't think they could have won either way. Um, you, ru you run into a very risky field because even though they all say they knew him, you know, they all knew him better than anybody else, at the end of the day, and this is something Oprah said that I, uh, I, I agreed with uh, when I heard it, is you don't know what's going on in that room other than the people in that room. And those guys were the only other ones in the room with Michael. Michael's not here to say it. So no one can say 100% that he didn't, did or didn't do these things. So, um, and then you run into victim blaming, and, and, and that's a very risky proposition. So it's all, it's all a risk, and there, there really is no good way, I don't think, to handle it. While Michael was alive, these controversies sort of blew up even bigger because the media was looking for a story, but there wasn't the churn of social media to keep news stories going. Um, and that's something that, uh, you know, it, it begs the question, would Michael have been as big in the age of social media? He would have had to continuously put out product and images and um, kind of keep things going in order to benefit. Also, we have streaming now. And you know, most artists don't make the bulk of their money from recorded music anymore, which he did, and he was able to coast on that for a long time. Also buying up publishing, the Beatles catalog. So he, he was able to do those things, and he still burned through all of the money. Um, so now uh, it, we're, we're in an era where people have to tour, and Michael kind of stopped touring. 
uh, pretty much after the allegations uh, first came about while he was alive, uh, from Jordy Chandler, uh, you know, after the bad tour. Um, it, it, you know, we don't know if he'd be able to keep up making the money the way that artists have to make money now. There's, there's a lot of open questions um, still, and, but I, I do think that there has been a dip in his, um, in the interest in the music because there's a limited, there's a more limited field you could play his music for now. Um, and again, this is very historically recent, um, but we're gonna have to see how it plays out over time.